Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We are continuing with Turnabout Serenade. We are getting close to the end now. I think okay. probably two more episodes. Okay. We might do them all at once. We might split them up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyhow, we're still... <laughs> Why would I want to kill the manager? Why would I want to kill the manager? Because I'm crazy. <laughs> Her manager, sure, but Mr. Lipkiff uh, was... Oh, right. Sorry. An Interpol agent, wasn't he? I just have trouble picturing that big lunk as an undercover cop, you dig? We saw him for like two minutes. <laughs> Not a very good one, seeing as how he got wasted. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? This is so inappropriate, yeah. laughing about someone who just died. That's cold, dog! Not that it matters either way. See, I had no reason to kill the man, whatever he was. Easy, I got no motive. But that's the same for Machi! No motive was proven for him! Come on, he traveled around the world with that old fart. He had plenty of time to come up with a motive of his own. Ugh. More than I sure did. I mean, think about it. <laughs> of course. Sorry. This is that diva's first trip to the country, right? Darian, you're a detective with international affairs. Yeah, what of it? Even if this was Mr. Latus's first trip to the country, you still could have met him prior to the concert. Huh? Or don't you take any international trips in international affairs? He's like, no. That's right. Well, Detective Crescent. <laughs> That's your game, is it? Guess I'd better confess then. Confess? Yeah, it's a bit of an embarrassment, but I've never been sent overseas. What? But you're an international... See, me and Blaine's got a difference of opinion. We don't like each other that much. Uh... Also, whoever gets to sit in front of him, it's like his hair is constantly poking them. True. <laughs> is it like he's claustrophobic? Is it like he can't handle the idea <laughs> the of- public transportation makes it barf. Uh, but barf is his power. power. He's lava bar. Oh my gosh. He is lava bar. He is lava bar. <laughs> my condolences air forehead, but he's telling the truth. He's never set- he's never set foot outside the country. I can guarantee it. As it turns out, my division has plenty of work to do vocally as well. That's so unfair! It's so stupid. Why would you be in international affairs if you don't go international? <laughs> so you didn't fraternize with him at all during the concert? <laughs> wow, okay. That's a, sorry, that's a word that I'm not used to reading. Fra fraternize. Fraternize? The only ever time I've heard that is Ron Weasley in Book 4. You're fraternizing with the enemy, Hermione. Yeah. Wow. It's like a, yeah, it's you're like right. a British word or what? I don't know. It's not said much in America. Fraternize? <laughs> I don't think we exchanged a single word. As if anyone would want to talk to that old Eastern okay, block. Okay, you can cut it, bro. Can we what arrest this guy for being inappropriate? <laughs> now the ladies, that's a different matter altogether. Except Lamoa. <laughs> yeah, apparently. So you see, <laughs> if I didn't know him, why would I want to kill him? You sure about that? What? What? Wipe that look off your face before I do it for you. Listen, you try throwing out one of your wild accusations, I'll throw it back at you so hard you'll forget who you're accusing of what. Air Forehead, perhaps it's best if you let your evidence do the talking, yeah? <laughs> Man, what evidence? That's what I want to know. So he's using this motive question as ammunition, huh? Well, I've got ammunition too! Evidence! Okay. Well, it's probably the last statement. <laughs> Why would I want to kill him? Maybe I'm just because, a shark. Maybe <laughs> because he has that egg. It's a cocoon. The cocoon. Objection! Your Honor, take a look at this. What's that? Hmm. Looks like candy. Uh, it's not. Please don't lick it. <laughs> Detective Crescent, ever seen this? Looks like a piece of candy. What it is, is evidence. Don't lick it before you try it. Specifically, this is a replica of a cocoon. It was found among the victim's belongings. A cocoon? Never seen one that color. It is a variety only found in the Republic of Borginia. Nowhere else. Alright. 
But what is this cocoon replica doing in my courtroom? Surely this has nothing to do with a motive for killing Mr. Latus, does it? It does! Wait, I mean, I think it does. You don't sound so confident, man. A cocoon? Is it one of those silky cocoons? The kind you can make, well, silk out of? Not this one. This cocoon makes a powerful curative. A curative? For what? Apparently it is most effectious at treating a disease fought incurable. It is the only medicine of its kind. However, it is illegal to take one of these healing cocoons out of Borginia. Whatever for. If it's such a miracle cure, why not share it with the world? Yeah, that's what I've been wondering. We looked into the matter at some length. Apparently it isn't difficult at all to manufacture a remedy from the cocoon. Yet if you change the process only slightly, you can easily make a large quantity of something else entirely. A deadly poison, in fact. So here's... Not confirmed at all, uh -huh. but one fan theory that I've heard that I really like is that th it makes the same poison that Dahlia used in Trials and Tribulations, and because she was using it, they're like, wait, this is bad, we gotta ban these and put like, right. a trait hold on them. Again, no evidence could, in the game, be, but I, li I like that. I like how it I like that would it. work. <laughs> what? What? There was an incident several years ago where some of these got into the black market. Okay. It caused quite the commotion in the global community. Though the media was kept largely unaware. Hmm, intriguing. All this has led to a strict ban on Cocoon's export. <laughs> One rigidly enforced by Interpol, among others. Interpol? Right! The victim, Romain Latouse, was an Interpol agent. Detective Crescent, you insist on referring to him as a manager. But that is misleading. Romain Latouse wasn't killed as a manager. He was killed as an undercover agent. So I was trying to smuggle this gumball into the country? That what you're trying to say? I'm saying that we could that could well be a motive for murder. Oh, so I was going to sell it on the black market and make myself a pretty penny? Ridiculous! I mean, totally unthinkable. Unthinkable, you say? Why? Perhaps it's time for another testimony about this smuggling of cocoons business. Cocoon smuggling? Cool. International Affairs got a memo about these cocoons. Interpol's all hot and bothered about them. Can't sell them on the black market. Too dangerous. Yeah, cocoon smuggling ain't exactly lucrative anymore. <laughs> Man, I'm in International Affairs! I know the deal! But you haven't left the country. <laughs> Indeed. Interpol wanted these cocoons bad enough to send Mr. <laughs> Undercover. <laughs> you kids figure up the craziest things. But no way am I going to risk life and limb just to get my hands on some dirty cocoon money. Not the most noble of statements, but duly noted. According to reports, these cocoons top Interpol's list. Selling them to an underground organization would be risky. Hmm. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. This is the only motive I've got. He was up to something, and I'm going to find out what. Really, you're not you're not cracking down on like the drug market or like or like the, the trafficking market. No, Maybe you're going to could be made into drugs. <laughs> I don't know. Smoke cocoons every day. <laughs> <laughs> they could be. I mean, I don't know. International Affairs got a memo. That's great. That memo. That's how you knew about the cocoons. Oh, nice one, nice one. I'm running scared now. You had to know about the cocoons to plan this. Just how well known are these cocoons? I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I'd never heard of them. Well, Lamawa knew about them, though not their use. My reports indicate that there are ongoing efforts to control information about the cocoons. Most people only know they're illegal to export. That's all. Then, I've nothing to be embarrassed about after all. <laughs> You could say people like me who know about them are a minority, yeah. But that includes everyone in International Affairs, man. And everyone in Interpol, too, for that matter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Interpol's all hot and bothered about him. <laughs> Have you met the babes at Interpol? They are so <laughs> hot. <laughs> so, there are other Interpol agents, like Mr. Let <laughs> No, no, he was the only one. Now Interpol's gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> all over the world, likely. Deep undercover, most of them. That's why these cocoons are too hot for the black market. You don't want Interpol sniffing through your wares. Most came to the conclusion that... Can't sell them on the black market, too dangerous. Dangerous? 
Yeah, Interval finds you, they arrest you on the spot. Or another marketeer might think you're part of a stain and take you out himself. Times have changed. Cocoon smuggling ain't exactly lucrative anymore. Right. But wouldn't scarcity drive up prices? Yeah, and attention. Every gangster and his brother would want a piece of that action. Looking at you, the Katakis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'd turn your forehead into Swiss cheese before you could just say objection. Maybe we could get them to cut his hair, too. Who's on trial here again? <laughs> Man, you so obviously know nothing about the market. And that's a bad thing? <laughs> Don't even try to mess with me about this stuff. <laughs> Man, I'm international affairs. I know the deal. He knows the deals that go down. Which is why you know how to find a loophole in the system. Hey, you can say what you want about me, but back off of international affairs. There ain't no loopholes, okay? What do you think we are, Boy Scouts? I mean, that's true, they're letting girls in the Boy Scouts now, which is really stupid. I, yeah. It is kind of weird. It's literally called Boy Scouts! Yeah, and they're the Girl, they're Scouts. Girl Scouts! Just... Okay? You don't have to join them. Like, I didn't join Girl Scouts. I didn't join Boy Scouts. Although, sure. I am a big supporter of the Girl Scouts. They make great cookies. Yeah, they yeah. They sell great cookies. They don't make them, really. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they do make them. They're, they're made in a factory somewhere. Sure, but like, do, like, are Girl Scout girls, like, working in a factory? I kind of doubt it. Um, child labor laws and all that. Yeah. That wasn't what I was trying to, um, down, Darian. It's as you say. There are no loopholes, at least in the case of these cocoons. International Affairs, Interpol, and Borgenian Customs are all watching. See? We know what we're doing. Not like some yippin' little doggies that lap up every word the diva says. Why are I on it? On what? You want some of this? Haha. <laughs> Chill, both of you. Let's do this cool, ya. Yeah. Ah, screw cool! I want this guy's head on a stick. The okay. <laughs> Your head would look good at the end of a poll. Would you like to declare war on Saladin? What? <laughs> Civ 4, whenever you oh. declare war on someone, you're like, your head would look good at the end of a poll. Oh. Wow. <laughs> the replica's gotta be the key to his motive. There's gotta be a way to find out what he was up to. Alright, so... Okay. I'm gonna be like, is his bracelet reacting at all? Nope. No. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Isn't lucrative? Yeah, okay. I mean, in international affairs, I know the deal, yeah. It's... Uh, well, he's in, the, in international affairs, though. Yeah, he is. Uh, backup, I guess. I keep forgetting Remind you. Remind me the exact meaning of lucrative. It's, like, not um, possible. Ain't exactly lucrative, like, it isn't worth it, basically. It isn't worth it, okay, okay. Or, like, it isn't really possible all that much. Yeah. So he's, he's basically saying, like, because... Of, of the all the steam operations, steam operations and how strict everything is, like, selling on the black market is too dangerous so people don't do it, basically. Right, okay. Uh, previous statement. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. The interval's all hot! Mmm! Uh, babes and The only one I can think of, then, is the lucrative statement. Because of the... Do mm -hmm. we have a report saying something about the Justice Minister's son? Yeah. Yes. Okay, then let's present that. Objection! You are on it today. Why not, not choose really. a less why not choose a less dangerous buyer then? I would. How clueless are you? Everyone in the market's dangerous. The second they found out I was a cop, I could kiss my keister goodbye. Why sell it to a black market buyer? How about someone like this? That article? That's about the Chief Justices. A deadly poison can be extracted from the cocoon, but so can a cure. Oh not a cure for just any disease. A cure for incuritis. Stupidest name for a disease ever. Uh, incuritis? I've heard of that somewhere. You went to a visit a victim of the disease this morning! Aha! Uh -huh. Why, that's the disease the Chief Justice's son has. You aren't sane. Our witness is a detective. He would have con he would have contact with the Chief Justice. You are sane. The Chief Justice would never deal in contraband. Have you ever played Sheriff of Nottingham, Your Honor? <laughs> Not even to save his own son's life. But even if the deal went through, why, it'd be an international scandal! That's Detective Grissens' insurance! If word ever got out, the one with his neck on the line would be the Chief Justice! Detective Crescent, is this true? First I'm a murderer, now I'm a smuggler. How many crimes do you try to pin on me anyway? Distasteful as it is to think about if the Chief Justice were the buyer, why a seller couldn't hope for a better deal. 
a very cowardly seller. Don't let sleeves over there trick you. So we made a deal with the Chief Justice. Where is your proof? Well... Oh yeah, and you're forgetting one other important thing. Do tell. Interpol isn't the only ones out there watching this. Morganian Customs barely sleeps they're so worried about cocoons getting out. Hmm, so we were informed. Let's continue with the cross-examination. Morganian Customs is very thorough. Everything and everyone gets checked. Is that so? Because this somehow got through. Just how strict is this Customs check? Way strict. They keep planes on the ground for hours. I do recall it being a bit extreme. <laughs> they were even confiscating gumdrops and marshmallows. Yes, it would be hard to distinguish them. That's right, Gavin was in Borginia, wasn't he? I remember setting off the metal detectors several times. Oh, my jewelry, you know. <laughs> I had to practically strip naked to walk through. Here's a travel tip for you, Gavin. Leave the bling at the home, you goobers, fop. <laughs> <laughs> I <love> Honestly, <laughs> the airport... Okay, the airport thing where it's like, oh my gosh, it's super thorough and you've got all these rules. I have been in a group where someone got a knife through airport security. <laughs> to to a different, not to a different country, but like to somewhere else and put it on the plane because they didn't realize they had it until they pulled I it out. I remember, okay, I, I remember it just, even last time we flew or the time before that, like, I got pulled to the side and they're like, there's something in your bag. We're checking. I'm like, wait, what? Like, okay. there's, I'm like, I'm always oh, probably like some of my electronics they're worried yeah, yeah. about. Because I bring like my, my game, like my Now 3DS. they make you take that out. Yeah, now they make you take it out. But I I had like my headphones in there. Yeah, I had a sure. whole bunch of chargers, all, all this stuff. And they, they were opening it up and they were like digging for it. And they're like, yeah, this is weird. They pull it out. It's, it's like sour gummy lifesavers that I took for the plane to like stop my ears from right, popping. Right. And they're like, oh, you got the sour variety. Nice. You're good. I'm like, yeah. really? For they, me, they couldn't distinguish that? They, they like put my bag aside and they were like going through everything intricately. And they're like, you have a razor in here. I'm like, yeah. It's, it's sealed it's in a, a bag. It's in a bag and it's fine. They're like... Okay. And then they, like, let me go through. <laughs> they literally took it aside and spent so long going through it. And it was really annoying. But that was the day that, like, I felt really bad. There was a girl in front of us who had type 1 diabetes. Oh. And so they had to go through all of her insulin to make sure that it was, like, approved by the doctor. Yep. And all, like, she, yep. in, she was very polite and very, like, they were very apologetic, but she was almost going to miss her flight, basically. Oh, jeez. It was so bad. Cocoon in possession will get you arrested on the spot and then sentenced to death. So wait, do they, like, get the cocoon and they're like, that's it? You're guillotine. Your, the guillotine, you're getting burned alive. You don't get burned alive at the guillotine. Uh, or I, I'm thinking, like, on of Notre Dame. Oh, <laughs> the Palace of Justice. Yeah, yeah, like with Esmeralda burning at the stake. Th that's pretty extreme. Borginia has this rep as an idyllic laid-back place. Truth is, they're beyond hardcore with security. The Republic of Morginia is a peaceful, pleasant country. So this level of security shows us how truly concerned they are about these cocoons. That's the situation. Hey man, if there's a way to get cocoons out of there, I'd sure like to know. Why? You're in a position to know quite a bit about smuggling. Yeah, I need to know a bit for work, sure. But all we get are reports on the failed smuggling ops. Not exactly something you want to go copying. But if you want, I can tell you a few of them. Maybe you'll succeed and get rich. I would be interested in hearing, purely from a legal perspective, of course. <laughs> I weep for our judicial system. <laughs> the Republic, the replica has got to be key to the motive. There's got to be a way to find out what he was up to. All right. That's uh, so. very thorough. Everything gets checked. We'll get you arrested on the spot and sentenced to death. Yeah, we've heard about that. It's probably that one. <laughs> I'd sure like to I'd know. I'd like to know. Why do you want to know? <laughs> I just don't know what to present. <laughs> like, he set fire to a guitar, and then he, <laughs> like, did all this stuff for what? An egg? An egg. It's a cocoon! <laughs> it looks like an egg, and I'm just calling it that because it's quicker and easier. Do we just present the cocoon? Like, I don't... Objection! Nope. Um, <laughs> You're the... an idiot it might be the wrong that. <laughs> If there's poison, what would he want to put the poison in? That's the real question. 
it's not poison yet, it's still a cocoon. But it could be extracted and get poison. He didn't want poison, he wanted the cure. Maybe. That could well, be that's our that That's our that. angle, because of the Chief Justice's son. Right, otherwise... It was on the forums with Machi. <laughs> probably <Yeah>. not. <laughs> uh, probably not. He'd want to know... Does it say something on the newspaper? Not that one, but... Uh, wait. Yeah, this one. I'll look at both, just in case. Alright. It's too small to read. Incuritis Hospital! Charts going up, up, oh, up. Oh, that's my favorite medical center. Hospital. <laughs> oh, man. Right, I'm kind of getting tired of waiting. Just present, then. All right. Would not have picked that, because he was allowed to have that through. Actually, there is one way. What? Oh, it's One by... way to get something out of the country. No oh, checks. Okay, that's fine. What, what is it? You become a prosecutor. A prosecutor? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh! I don't believe it. Believe it, Prosecutor Gavin. What was it that you told me yesterday at your office? It was a beautiful instrument. It was played lovingly for many years. A guitar befitting a woman like La Miroir. How did it end up here? I mentioned how much I enjoyed playing it that night, and she made a present of it. So this guitar's from Borginia? All right, so, um... <laughs> Just so people know, we just had the power go out. But our recording briefing. didn't stop. But that's the wonderful thing about having a laptop that actually has a battery charge. Yeah. Unlike my last one. So everything should still be going all a okay. But that's why because the, that's why the unceremonious cut happened. That it is. We couldn't carry it on the plane. Changes in air pressure and humidity ruined the wood. So we vacuum packed it in La Maison studio. I used a special shipping service available to me for transporting evidence. They brought it right up to my office for me. Pristine and untouched. Yep. Did I get that right, Prosecutor Gavin? Untouched? Quite. The guitar was wrapped in several sheets and vacuum packed in Borginia. The pack was untouched until the day of the concert. Are you saying that guitar was... With cocoons this small, it would have been very easy. To use your guitar as a mule to smuggle a cocoon out of Borginia. Wh what Which reminds me, Prosecutor Gavin. That guitar had some work done on it recently, right? Work? Good memory, Air Forehead. Well, you know how guitars have a round hole in the front? It is called the sound hole. Well, they found something attached to the wood just inside the hole. A broken device of some sort. A broken device? Yes, this, in fact. An igniter? Exactly. Consider this, if you will. What if that igniter wasn't the only thing that was attached inside your guitar? You... you mean... He means this, of course. Oh! Oh! There was a way to get the cocoon out of the country. They could use picky Prosecutor Gavin's privileged guitar as a mule. <laughs> <laughs> And who better to do that than someone with access? Like a member of the band! Yowick! <laughs> <laughs> His hair, though. His hair, though. Order! 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 So this igniter was placed in there for a clear reason, it seems. It was a safety precaution. A precaution? Ah, air forehead. At last, it all comes together. Every strange thing that happened that day. Care to review? Maestro, the gentle sounds of Lamewa's ballad, if you please. For the 50th time. First, my keys were stolen. A harmless misdemeanor. Which forced me to break the lock on my guitar case. The key was stolen to retrieve the cocoon from the guitar. I... I see. Oh, the keys were to his guitar case. Yeah. I but thought the keys were to his motorcycle. It was keys to everything. He had them oh, all in one ring. That's dumb. Okay. But things didn't go so well. The smuggler wasn't counting on the guitar being wrapped. Only a member of the band could get near that case. Unwrapping the guitar would raise too many suspicions. Then the concert began. Right about this time, a very large problem presented itself to the smuggler. What's that? Mr. Le <laughs> Ah, you don't have to keep sneezing. <laughs> Mr. Letus, an undercover agent, was onto something. He would have known about the guitar. He'd only have to check the shipping records. 
So, Mr. Latus tried to examine the guitar himself. If the cocoon were confiscated then, the gig would be up. The only thing left for the smuggler to do was get rid of the whole lot. It's over. Press the switch. Now! The guitar burst into flames, and the cocoon was lost. And then... Mr. Latus died. With Lamewa there to witness it. There's your case. <laughs> Brilliant, man! Detective Crescent? I gotta know, you make all that up on the fly? For a made-up story, it makes a great deal of sense, Darian. <laughs> the Republic of Borginia. Sorry, man, but I haven't even been there. True, you haven't. Ha! Let's see you make up a story for that kid. How would I hide the cocoon in the first place, huh? It's not so hard to imagine. You had help, a Borginian accomplice. That's all. That you had an accomplice was clear from the start. The voice Lamawa heard proves it. It's over. Press the switch. Now! You made this transmission from backstage. While your co-conspirator was on stage. But... But who was it? This is it. The coup de grace. And for once I know what I'm doing. Do you now? <laughs> I don't! There's only one person who could have helped him. That was in Borginia? Let's hear what Mr. Justice has to say then. But be warned, with great accusation comes great responsibility. Thanks, Spider-Man. <laughs> Make up your answer on the fly, as it were, and you'll be harshly penalized. Are you ready, Mr. Justice? Who was the smuggler's accomplice? <laughs> it would be hilarious if it speaks right. <laughs> <laughs> this person is the accomplice. Eh, I thought you said the accomplice was Borginian. Um, actually, can I take that one back? <laughs> Certainly, and here, have this penalty for your trouble. <laughs> Oof. Ouch! Let me ask again, <laughs> who was the smuggler? <laughs> well, if it's someone Borginian, it'd have to be Machi, right? Yep. There's only one person who meets all the requirements of the accomplice, and that person is the defendant, Machi Tobaye. But, but Mr. Justice, he's your client! A defense attorney accusing his client? That's a new one. I assure you, no one is more unhappy about this than I. But I am here to defend him in the murder of Mr. Latus. And I stand by my statement earlier that he is innocent of that particular crime. Indeed, the defendant is Borginian. He does meet the basic requirements to be the accomplice. But what if it was in fact Lemewa? It couldn't have been. Well, you seem sure of yourself. The reason is electronic signals, your honor. Electronic signals? Recall that this remote only works to a range of 30 feet. Beyond that, it's useless. Hmm, yes, that's true. Now think back to the testimony. When the shooter made his transmission, Lamewa was in the air vent. Right above the dressing room where the shooter, shooter stood. Let's look at the stage diagram. This is the area that the remote could reach from the air vent. Well, looking at this, it seems that Lamewa still could have done the deed. No. When the shooter made that transmission, the stage was slightly different than shown here. It was in the middle of the pit. Sorry, Your Honor. I had to cough. It was in the middle of the guitar serenade. Part of the stage was raised. Prosecutor Gavin and Lamewa has stand in. We're in there at the tower. The tower that happens to be 15 feet tall. Wow, that was fast. That was really fast. In other words. This remote couldn't have worked from Lamoa's position in the air vent. Ah. Oh. Well, Detective Crescend, what do you say to that? Your Honor. Y yes, Detective? Could we see the video where G Gavin's guitar bursts? Yes. Just one more time. It's yes. so hilarious. Yes. Ah, oh, well, it is quite funny. I don't see why not. What? Don't tell me he has a way out of this. <laughs> Machi's not even there. <laughs> yeah, he's not even there. <laughs> he's so happy. You gotta love how Gavin only wears sunglasses when it's really dark. <laughs> I do love that. <laughs> it's too bad, so sad. Punk. P punk? <laughs> First you were sleeves. 
then Kid, now Punk? You're losing rank fast, Apollo. What exactly were we supposed to see in this video? The problem isn't what we see, correct, Darian? Right, it's what you hear. We are musicians, after all. Care to explain for us non-musicians? Sure thing, punk! Let me get your yarn straight first. You're saying I ordered the Wii Pianist to set off the igniter? That right? Y yes Well, in order to do that, he'd have to press a switch. <laughs> Am I right? Okay. Well, take another listen. Pay attention to the piano. Piano? It's... he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, plot hole. Oh, I heard it. Heard what? I heard the most awful note from the piano. <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to listen to. I that's heard not, like a cloak, not... basically. I don't think so. Oh. What seems to be the problem there? The piano sounded just fine. <laughs> and that's the problem! Man, you still don't get it. Ah. Uh, yeah, how's he supposed to hit that switch if he's playing? You've got Miss Diva, the guitar, the bass, the piano, we and the drums. We found in the piano! The only one of her hands free was the diva. Well, the, no, it was in the piano, but you couldn't play the piano with that because it went like. Yeah, but I heard the. I didn't hear that. Oh, I heard it. Lamewa. <laughs> but according to you, she couldn't have been the accomplice, could she? Ugh. Your accomplice would have had a hard time helping out if they couldn't even press a switch. The <laughs> 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 It'll be a, fine. That's a really weird like. Damage animation. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you understand why people are like, why do we have to watch the video so many times? Is it's there, not bad, though. Is there supposed to be dialogue right now? <laughs> uh, oh, there. Oh, okay. The piano plays non-stop. 